just some three questions I picked up from Pathfinder. Just diagram based. Huh? Again, nothing to do that one. You know enough concept. Just diagram based here. Now first, uh, there's a wall. Uh, read the question. In a gravity free space, a small ball, ball is placed center of a box of the same mass. The ball and the box both are moving with a velocity v towards a wall. Assume all collisions to be perfectly elastic. How many collisions are possible? The velocity of the box and the ball and the position of the ball relative to the box after all possible collisions. First, we will go and collide. The box will go and collide. You just exchange this diagram. If you are able to imagine, well and good. After collision, this is what happens. Okay, let, let me just. Let's see that. Uh, first, what happened? The box has went and collided with the wall. No? Now the position of this will relatively change. And tell me what is the direction of the velocity of the box will be. It has collided. Now what will happen? The particle will be here. The particle is yet to collide. Now collision between the particle and the box will occur. They'll exchange their velocities. This is what happens here. Again, the box will go and collide and the particle what happened will be moving like this. Is it sequence? No, no, the particle can it collide with the box? No, not possible. It's all after this. Even if I move this situation, it will be like that. The particle will be here. And the box will be here. What will be that? It doesn't matter. So, yeah. How many collisions? It is the first collision. Then between the particle, uh, between the box and the wall here. First collision. Box and wall. Next again, second collision. particle in box third collision box in uh, like a box in wall Th this what happens here so three collisions are possible okay this is about the well of the box in the ball and position of the okay they, they finally both the ball and the box will be moving towards right then this part is all where the ball will be after all n collisions after all three collisions position of the ball is asking i didn't draw a diagram systematically you're, you're supposed to analyze through the diagrams only <laughs> after some time when so how much of displacement the box will have that much displacement the ball will have so let you take this is l by two here you assume some distance x you assume some, let this distance and let this be L by 2. This also you assume L by 2 or some, some distance. So when this moves, when the box is having displacement, the ball will also have same displacement. Check with all, the ball will be at the center of the box. I am leaving students to work out that one. Better weapon rather than making guess, no, you assume some let length of the box be L initially L by 2. Let this be say L by 2. 
by the time by the time box reach wall i think the ball will take this position the 